Hi guys, by for Spurred on outside White Hart Lane. It's just finished Tottenham Hotspur 1, Leicester City 1. Standing here amongst the uh, the latest building of the new stadium that's gone up so quickly over the last month or so. It's absolutely amazing. Lots of new entrances um, being built, everything changing. And uh, therefore, a lot of our regulars today we didn't manage to find, unfortunately. But the overall feeling here after that draw is one of frustration. Leicester City set up how Leicester City do. And certainly to me, played a lot better today than they had done for the rest of this season. I'm not sure if they'd even got a point away from home so far this season. But they really saw this as another opportunity to show Spurs how hard they are to beat. We hit the bar a couple of times. We had most of the possession. For the first 70 minutes, certainly, we were all over them. Um, scored uh, just coming up to half time, the first half a penalty that was given for some pulling in the box. And uh, I have to say, uh, they had, Leicester had been being warned, Wes Morgan and Robert Huth especially, been being warned all day about pulling in the box, gra shirt grabbing, getting up round people's shoulders, all of that. And so the penalty was given. Uh, Vincent Janssen stepped up, was very brave, stepped up, took the penalty round, uh, straight down the middle. And uh, that was his first Premier League goal. So at half time, it all looks pretty rosy. The fullbacks, especially Kyle Walker and Danny Rose, I think are just going from strength to strength, showing exactly how good they are, showing exactly how they're the best two fullbacks in England, in my opinion, certainly the best English ones. Um, Victor Wanyama was having a brilliant game at that point. Moussa Dembele uh, fitting back, uh, back in seamlessly after his injury layoff. So at half-time, like I said, things are looking rosy, uh, but then just a, a lack of concentration, kind of five or ten minutes after the break. Victor Wanyama had been having an excellent game, just a little back header, went awry. Jamie Vardy got onto it, cut it across, and at the back stick, Musa puts it in. And then after that, it really felt like it was going to be one of those games. Um, to be honest, in the last 20 minutes, I felt like Leicester were, were coming on, the game was opening out, and they were starting to have more chances. But we did hit the bar twice in this game. Jan Vertonghen had a great effort off the bar with uh, 10 minutes or so to go. We should have won the game. But the reality is, you know, we didn't. Five wins, five draws. Uh, as I've said, certainly in some of the interviews, you know, some of the fans are getting a bit negative about it. But you've got to pick up your points where you can. Like I said, Leicester, back to their kind of annoying best today. You know, really stifling, long throws coming in. Ten men behind the ball all the time. Vardy on the break very tough to play against and they'll get results against other teams as well but it is just a shame because these last three games if we'd got you know a couple of wins we'd be top of the league right now and everyone would be absolutely ecstatic but you know got a lot of games coming thick and fast at the moment Leverkusen on Wednesday the derby against Arsenal then West Ham then Chelsea so it's going to be a big big month and I personally think it will suit us more playing those big teams who are going to come at us. I don't think Leverkusen will be like that. I think they will play on the counter-attack, and that will be a very difficult game. Very worried about that one, actually, at Wembley. But in terms of the Arsenal, Chelsea, and West Ham games, I think that will suit us a bit more. It'll be a bit more like the City games, where we can really push on the break against them. And I'm hopeful that we can get at least a couple of wins out of that. I know that sounds brave, but I really, really think we can. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, it's a bit frustrating here, but still... Unbeaten, that's something to grab onto, and Harry Kane and Toby Alderweireld to come back very, very soon, hopefully. Let me know what you thought of that match review in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Also, fo follow the Football Republic, a great fans channel for all fans, not just Spurs channel. Check uh, Spurs fans, check that out as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, follow us on Twitter, sorry, at TV. Most importantly, guys, come on, you Spurs. Keep behind the boys.